The fix for pericardial tamponade is drainage, but what do you do to stabilize the patient while you're getting all your equipment together? I like to fall back on the mantra from this 2020 paper, full, fast, and squeezed. Number one is full. Expand that intravascular volume to augment or at least maintain preload. Unfortunately, you can't rely on measuring the IVC to assess preload status because the patient's IVC is gonna be plethoric from that pericardial tamponade. Number two is fast. Tachycardia is your friend here because it increases cardiac output. If that patient's rate is a little bit on the lower side, you might wanna augment that and we're gonna come back to how to do that in just a minute, but first, number three, which is squeezed. We wanna use vasoactives to ensure both a good SVR and contractility, but what agent should we be reaching for? If the patient is already tachycardic, go for some norepinephrine to augment SVR, augment coronary filling pressure, and improve cardiac output. But if that patient's rate is a little on the lower side, epinephrine is the win because it gives you chronotropy, inotropy, and that peripheral squeeze. Of course, all of this simply buys you a little bit of time while you're getting set up to do the procedure. It doesn't obviate the need for you to stick a needle in that pericardium. But remember the full, fast, and squeezed mantra for resuscitating tamponade prior to drainage.